And I think that's one of the, the equations on the back of chapter 22. Now, most of the examples I will give in class here on the magnetic field coming out of the out of the board, just because it's a lot easier to do dots than x's. I now have a wire with a current running through it. Which way will the force on the wire be? Which I, you're still thinking, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we have. All right. So I got Sarah's going that way. Ian's yeah, going that way. We are split two and two. <laughs> oh. One and three. <laughs> Anna, are we just going to do you? You go whatever your answer is. We just do the opposite, or is Anna the, the lone voice here? I got it. You feeling confident? Yes. Okay, explain it. Okay. Can I say so? <laughs> Ooh, wait, I have a better explanation. Okay. <laughs> because it's electrons moving through the wire. And so with protons, you would say that it's going this way. But so, since, it, since electrons have that negative on the cube, it's going this way. It? Since current's moving downwards, the electrons are moving in the opposite direction of the current, so they're moving up, and then your field, or your, I guess, the magnetic field is going out of the board, so they're moving up, it's coming out of the board, so you curve your fingers and it points to the right, in our case, and then you're face the left. The, the thinking is almost there, you missed one thing. Why? And Sarah, you missed one thing. Yeah, I missed that the electrons are going that way. Yeah, the electrons are going up, which is, which is the equivalent of the positive charge going down. Positive charge down, magnetic field out, it will be forced that way. <laughs> Stop you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey. wow. So we do have a force going off to the left. Uh, yeah, left. <laughs> now, our formula though, is Q V cross V, but I no longer have a charge here. I have a whole bunch of charges that are moving. So let's deal with it. What is velocity? Flashback to chapter two and three of the textbook, probably chapter two and three of almost every physics textbook. What is velocity? Jeez, uh, you. Oh. No, there's a delta in there. You are right. There is a delta in there. So we'll put a, a delta here. Something over time. I want to say all okay. change in position over time. So it's delta x. Change in position over change in time. So q uh, cross v. All I'm going to do is I'm going to just move that time over. So that's q over delta t times delta x cross v. Now, this is one of those bizarre things that the formula uh, this is a charge moving past a particular point in a certain amount of time. We have another name for that. Repeat that again. We have a certain amount of charge. This charge right here, so if I say you took a point right there, this is the amount of charge passing by this point in this amount, in whatever delta t is that time. We have another name for this charge passing by a particular point in a certain amount of time. Current? Yes. Yeah. So that's equal to the current times this delta x cross v. By the way, that, that bit right there, chapter 20, that's the next test is dealing with that. This delta x here, uh, typically delta x doesn't show up in the formula, but this is just a distance. So I, I pick, well, in essence, how far is this current going through? How 
what is this, uh, yeah, how much current is flowing? I'll try that again. How much length of wire is exposed to the magnetic field? So L cross B, just the length of wire. This L vector here, some textbooks deal with it one way, some deal with it another way. Uh, this, the direction of this is the direction of the current. Current officially is not a vector, so we can't, even though it does have a direction that is flowing in, but it is not a vector quantity. Similar to time is not a vector quantity, but does flow in typically in a particular direction. And so sometimes I will write this formula a little bit differently. I L and then V hat cross B, uh, where V hat is the direction of the current flow. That's just a notational thing. I think that's, that's the more typical. So just a simple plug and chug. If I have a current of three amperes flowing through this wire, uh, this distance right here is, I'm gonna say, uh, five meters, and a magnetic field of two Tesla. What is the force on the wire? Well, I got everything nice and perpendicular here. So let's just, we already know it's to the left. Let's establish our convention here, I, J, and then therefore, K is times L. Uh, the force would be in the negative I direction. And then I'm just multiplying current times the length of the phase in the magnetic field <coughs> times the magnetic field. And doing the fancy math here, we end up with 30 meters. So now So now I have a magnetic field shooting across like this. And into this magnetic field, they put a wire. Uh, let's have the current flowing this way. What is the direction of the force acting on this left part of the wire? Sarah, what did you say when you came going that way? One important thing to remember here, because of the cross product here, cross products always produce a vector that is perpendicular to either of these two. So the force is always perpendicular to the velocity and the magnetic field, or perpendicular to the direction of the current and the magnetic field. So we have fingers pointing in the two directions that you're left with now. Uh, so we, I think it's three into the board and two out of the board. I was hoping for a general consensus here. Right hand rule, everyone using right hands. All right, so direction of the, basically direction of the current across the magnetic field. I'm looking at this wire right here. Current is down. 
that comes first. Magnetic field is that way. The force out. Oh, Why is the direction of current this way? The no, direction of the current is down. Current's down, magnetic field is to your right. The force is that way. Oh, I see. And it's near the wire, and then the other thing is always the field. Okay. The, the field is always the multiple fingers. Okay, I see. Okay. Yeah, don't be afraid to have to turn in your chair if you need to. Yeah. <laughs> Some people, they're you know, really soft joints, and so they can. Twist themselves into something unholy. But. So you start with the field? No, field is last. Okay. You start with the other one. So direction, so direction of the current, direction of the field is that way, and then thumb points in the direction of the force. So this is going to be forced outwards. What is the direction of the force on the bottom wire? Uh, there is one. There is a one. Yeah. No, no, there isn't one. So you, you sounded more confident than Chow does. There isn't one. Okay. <laughs> Dana, you were going for a different answer. You were basically saying that they're both wrong? No, I was just like, I'm going to do it. So. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's the second time I've caught you sort of mid hand gesture. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, there is no force down here. What about on the, the right side? It should be the opposite of what that is, so that's into the board. And on the top wire? Yeah, because the, the current and the magnetic field are anti-parallel here, parallel here, either way, cross product is zero. So we basically have this wire here that's being forced on this side and forced back on this side, so what's gonna to happen to the wire? If you have this influence now that's causing a rotational motion, Acceleration. We could bring it into it. I wasn't going. I wasn't taking it there. What What is an influence that might cause angular acceleration? Torque. Yeah. Otherwise known as. Due to the Lucas. Thank you. So can someone would remember. There's a guy who came back and his name is Morse. I think right. Say it again. Played a actor. Or a character. TV yeah. series. Yeah, there was a force. Did you no, a force? Not force. No. Torque. 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 Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Torque. Torque equals speed to the music. Right? I don't want it to be forgotten. So we have a torque. And what is torque equal to? Good question. The change in acceleration the, over the change in time. Change in acceleration, that's jerk. Oh, actually. okay. What did you say, Carly? <laughs> oh, okay. Arm yeah, crossed out. Okay, jerk. Uh, that's an individual torque. If I want total torque, so total uh, net torque. What's that equal to? There's the hope. What is total force equal to? Mass times acceleration. All right, we're on a roll now. Uh, this is the rotational analog of it. What's the rotational analog of mass? Uh, that point thingy, no, wrong one. I can see the thing in my head where I have the nuts. <laughs> All right, well, she's thinking of that rotational analog of acceleration. Yes. The alpha. Yeah, angular acceleration. Angular acceleration. Jesus. Isn't it like I? It is like I. I just don't remember what I stands for. What is it? That's in the name. Point of inertia? Moment of inertia. Moment of inertia. That's what I was going to say. Or sometimes referred to as rotational inertia. However, we're going to use the thing currently suggested right here, R cross F. What is the torque acting on this particular wire here? 
Well, we have a torque acting on this and here. Where is going to be the axis of rotation? No. I hope so. Yeah. There's no reason why there'd be more force on one side than the other. Uh, there's my axis right there. So R, we have, so the total torque is going to be the torque on the left-hand side plus the torque on the right-hand side plus zero plus zero because we do have two other sides there. Uh, show up a little bit better. So this would be RL, and this would be R, R, right and left. Get to or behind a little bit. So the torque on the left hand side. Well, let's set up a coordinate system here. I, J, and K. Uh, let's come up with some dimensions here. What we call this dimension here, A, and this dimension here, B. So what is, oh, what I need to read is that RL cross FL plus R right cross F right. What is RL? What's the magnitude of RL? Uh, what's the direction? Negative one half B. Negative. So I have negative B over two, I hat, cross, and the force we've established uh, is going to be current times, what's the length? Plus. A third. Times our magnetic field B in the negative J direction. RL cross F. Plus. R right, well it's just going to be the opposite of what we have over there, so B over 2 I hat, cross, and then this will be <coughs> I, A, B, J hat. So it's I cross J. So we have I cross J here, the two negatives cancel out, so I'm left with B over 2 I A big B, uh, K, F, plus, well we have the exact same thing, we just don't have the negative signs, well, so we have B over 2 I A big B, K, and that simplifies down into, well, uh, so we're left with the current times little a little b times big b in the k direction. All right, questions to hear before my next question. How should it be over two? I had to get b over, oh, because b is the full length from here to here, but the radial vector is just half of that. What's little a times little b? The area? Yes. <laughs> so this is equal to the current times the area times the magnetic field times k. <laughs> this i times a? This has a special name. This is the magnetic. Dipole moment. The symbol for it is mu. Because you can't use it or not. <laughs> so within magnetism, we have mu with a vector symbol, which is magnetic dipole moment. It is a vector magnetic dipole moment. 
mu without the vector symbol could be the magnetic dipole moment magnitude. Magnitude. Or that could be the permittivity. Uh, sorry, not permittivity, permeability. Uh, somehow this does not work well, right? I'm going with it right now. Permeability of uh, material. No, that, that's what's going to work right. Yeah, All right. <laughs> Uh, it could also be micro. Uh, with it, actually, I'm just talking within the magnetism. It could all be these, but if we throw in more physics, uh, you also have it could be the coefficient of friction. And we use mu for anything else. Oh. Um, there's a mass term that uses mu. Um, C-score. What's that? Mass term C-score. That's or something. Oh. That's in math, though, not physics. I was, I was saying, I said mass, actually, but there's also... Oh, I said math. <laughs> it, it works either way. It's... Oh, God, I can't believe I'm blinking on it. Oh, well. Uh, unfortunately, the clock says it's time to go now. Even Verizon says it's time to go.